Kaha Gallery and Guam Gallery of Art is pleased to present a moon art exhibit. And we have with us here in the Harmon Studios two incredibly talented island artists who will share with us their passion, their inspiration, and of course their artwork. We have Aki Matsunaga and Talia Strohmeiler. Half a day to you both. Half a day to you too. Okay, so Aki, I'd like to talk to you, and you actually brought some of your art with us right now. So just um, go ahead and talk about what you've captured and exactly how you put that together and how long it took you. Uh, when I uh, when I painted this, um, I was j this was about three years ago, mm. and um, I was just kind of uh, going through um, a little bit kind of I was kind of through a depressive state, mm -hmm. and um, I just imagined a, a quiet beach and uh, it being a kind of um, enlightened by the moon and then the you know the clouds and en uh, enveloping it. And that's absolutely amazing because I can see the attention to detail that you've captured in that picture. It's, it's incredible. You, know, you see the reflection of the moon on the water. And, and did this seem, serve to improve your mood? And like, yes. did, did it get you out of your funk? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. Well, that's what it's all about. And, and you did that, obviously, on, on canvas, right? Yes. And how long did that take you? Um, about pr Probably about uh, two weeks, I think, I believe. Very cool. And you'll, you'll be presenting that. Now, Talia, what, um, what materials and what... Um, uh, surfaces do you work with? I actually worked with acrylic or oils or watercolors or um, I recently got commissioned uh, for the Gloria Nelson building mm. and so that was done graphically because six, all the 16 pieces had to be done like within a month. They at In the beginning they said it had to be done within a month and then later on it was um, they gave me three months to do it, but that was done graphically. And we have but seen I, your I work at the Nelson both. building, it's absolutely amazing. Thank you, yeah. thank you. So I um, I started in wood blocking when I was about 17, and that kind of style just kind of worked its way into my paintings, and so that's how most of my paintings look, is they look very graphic. And basically, um, I, like, I like taking um, certain elements and just kind of um, focusing on each part and just creating it graphically. Now, obviously, art is something that, like, you know, by virtue of the fact, Aki, you're 13 years old, you go to uh, Bishop Baumgarten, you're incredibly yes. talented, the both mm -hmm. of you. Um, Thank you. A lot of people believe that, that art is something that you're just born with, and you know you have that inherently in yourself to, to create. So as artists, do you both feel, and we'll start with you, Aki, um, do, is it something that you just see something and you want to express it somehow, or do you kind of just like sit down and just start sketching and kind of like start riffing on stuff, and it just kind of develops over time? Yeah, um, I just um, mostly just sit down and I just, Sometimes I just doodle and I just think of something and I just, I just sketch it and everything. And you just kind of like let mm -hmm. it grow organically? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's totally cool. And Tali, would you say the same thing or do you kind of, do you have like an inspiration sometimes and you just like let the, let the creative spirit take over? That I do as well, but I, th I honestly think that anything is learned. I think that if you have, I think the secret ingredients, if you really have the passion to do it, you're going to find a way and you're going to find a way to get trained and you're going to find a way to to copy old masters, because how I started was I started copying all the works of old masters, mm -hmm. like um, <clears throat> uh, El Greco or like Da Vinci, uh, you know, all their sketches. And, that's a good and way I to was start. really <laughs> young when I was doing it, so that's what really helped me uh, become better. And it's really going through that process. And I think that if you have the passion with it, you know, just like with anything, then then you're you're going to learn it. Well, Steve Jobs said, of course, good artists copy, great artists steal. So. Exactly. <laughs> well, um, the both of you and, and you know, your fellow artists in the Kaha exhibit, you know, you guys work with a variety of mm -hmm. medium, um, media, I should say. Uh, you know, there's parchment, there's canvas, there's, um, we've seen tattoo artists and like that. Uh, are there also artists working with like digital technologies and is this something that the both of you do as well? The, what, the pieces that I did for the Gloria Nelson building, yes, those were digitally, digitally done. Mm -hmm. um, and there are going to be some artists that are probably like uh, Claudia Clement. She also has um, designs that she's done that were graphically made. Okay. Uh, but is, you know, now with technology, that's kind of sort of becoming the norm. You know, in the past it was, you had to do, it was traditional where you painted, but now it's like you have these really, a lot of really great artists are, are uh, creating works of art through Photoshop or Illustrator, mm. and they're selling them. So, you know, it, it just kind of expanded. Mm. Well, Aki, how about you, and then we'll go to commercial. Um, are you working with like Photoshop or tools like that at this point? Um, not yet, but I would like to get into that, yeah. All right, very cool, mm -hmm. that is the next step, all right. And stay tuned, because we'll come back, and we'll find out more about these artists and what inspires them 
Let me do it.